video take it into my kitchen so today i'm just doing a little breakfast and bit bigger for the friday yeah you know how we do it already friday we don't normally do this big cooking so i'm just mulling kneading some flour with cornmeal a little salt is tipped into it yes so i welcome you into my kitchen and i'm just molding in the flour kneading in the flour combine everything cornmeal on the flour coming together to make a dough we call it dumpling yeah don't mind my my nail polish it's not coming off in it if i was doing it for persons like you know guesses and all that that's when i would maybe um not maybe but that's when i would thought of taking it off it's for the household purpose so i'm good yeah this is maybe about a pound i should think i don't think this is two pound but this is nothing i've of mold um or need even four pound back in the days yes my family i comes from a big family you know so back in the days when i was um young and coming yeah i would be in the kitchen that's why i know what to do now and i would have to have that big pudding pan where I would mold um, or knead um, the amount of flour with cornmeal in it as well. Mm -hmm. So, right. So I put all of that. And then it will come into. I have to mold it in. Yeah, and see what happened here. Yeah? What a real deal, isn't it? Yeah. Real deal, and then you know you make the dumpling after. You know you have all different type of way to put it together, and the different sizes. You know, if it's too big a pinch of piece, yeah. Right. So yes, I'm in the kitchen. And I'm doing some boiled dumpling. Need two of them boiled dumpling with some cornmeal in it. Keep it for a long time. I kept it for a long time. Whichever one is the correct way of saying it. Right, so. Normally back in the days, they make them like a cat wheel, but. Today I'm not in for that so right so I rest it right there and then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wash my hands it's not about me today it's about the cooking and I go over here to dry my hand with my clean towel right so I know all me do the thing already I'm to wipe up the end while I go along, I have to wipe. So this flour is prepared. I set the, I'll show you that. So I'm gonna do it with kololo. I hate tin kololo. Our original kololo would have been the one that you cut and strip and everything and cut up that one. Whoa! You know, you stay for a yonder smell where well happened. But this one, you just have to do what you have to do. I may mix it with a, um, a bit of the cabbage together. And all my, um, ingredients that i'm gonna put in there all my seasoning i should say my um bell pepper i'm gonna put the red and i'm gonna put the yellow and i'm putting two tomato and i'm trying to stay healthy so i'm gonna put a red onion i ate it but i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna do that with two irish because my kids don't really love irish 
so I don't have time to waste food all on here so I'm gonna do it with two Irish boil it in the in the dumpling pot and then I'm gonna do um one I don't even like these but they become so ripe and they weren't looking like this but you know as you as you have them for some time a few days they turn to this but it it's okay it's firm and it's okay so I'm gonna boil um plantain and then I'm gonna fry plantain for Shanti as you know she like her plantain I love her planting. I'm going to use the olive oil. Yeah, I'm trying to stay healthy. And, I'm, and I've got my escalion. And I, you know we have to do the maggi. All purpose. I'm going to put a little and a little black pepper. That's the most I'm going to put into it. So, right. So, um, as I go along, I'm going to take you into the other process of what I'm doing. Olive oil instead of open cooking oil. So, we're going to just pour some in the pot. Yeah. Pour some in the pot. Pour some in the pot. And I just put a little stem of garlic in the pot for so pot into the olive oil. Yeah. Remember, it's my way. So everyone done things differently. And then what I do now is to put in all my seasonings. Because the pot is hot. So I put everything in the pot. You can smell the aroma. Whoa! Right. And we're gonna just let that fry. We're gonna let that fry, fry, fry. Alright, so let me take this bit up. You know what I'm like already. I ate the mess, so once something is filled, I'm gonna clean it up. There we go. So we leave that to fry. Yes, that will fry. So remember I told you guys that I'm gonna um all I combine together. Oh it's so pretty. Look at it. The color, the scent. Wow, the room. The room is so lovely. Wow, everywhere it smells. It. So remember I told you that I was gonna do some cabbage. I weren't sure, so now I'm gonna put some cabbage in. And then we add the color lot in it. We will wash the color loop from um throw the water off and wash it. Rinse it nicely. Yeah. 
I chose to do it like this to add the color look, the cabbage to the color look. And the food pot is there still bubbling. Uh, I'm not going to cover it completely. When you do that, you're going to find that the, um, everything will boil over on the stove and the stove will go messy, which is going to really, really annoy me. And then I'm going to put in my black pepper into it. Yeah. Remember, I told you that I don't do pepper, right? And then I put in my all, my maggi. Yes. I don't do um, pepper, so you won't have me putting in pepper into it. Like um, the hot scotch bonnet pepper. No. I don't like pepper. And I'm going to just cover it. Maybe um, for 15 to 20 minutes or so. Right? And then I will come back to you when I'm going to add the color loo, okay? Right, so I we are back at it. And I'm just going to cut up all the seasoning. You need to see what I'm doing. Cutting up all the seasoning. There, there are different ways you can cut it. I may not dice it as fine as whatever. Honestly, we Jamaicans, we, we, we do things so different. Don't have to cut meat or whatever. But I'm just um, preparing all the seasoning that I'm going to put into the color look. And we have got bell pepper. Yeah, we don't have to dice it. Meat or whatever. However, you can do it however you wish to design the way how you love for it. And I'm just cutting up the tomatoes <sighs> this delivery really let me have to get up out of my bed before time yeah the delivery I have to get up out of my bed before time I don't know what I mean This knife isn't as sharp as those ones, but oh my god. Remember when I cut me? So. I'm going to use this one. Yes, yeah, so I get all my seasoning. I don't know why I'm doing this. The way how I eat red onions. Hate them. But it is better for you. And whatever is good for you, that's what you should you do. That's what you should eat. It's a choice, you know. We have a choice whether we want to have the green, the white one. Is that white? The other color one, that same color one. Lord, that one is burning in my eye. We have a choice whether we want to use this or we want to um right so all the seasoning is there wow i think i'm gonna I'll get some time as well yeah let me get some time Yes, yeah, so I get some time. I don't need a lot either. I just dice it. You won't have me putting pepper into it. No. You won't have me putting this scotch bonnet pepper. I am afraid of pepper. My kids are afraid. So, 
I won't do that. If I have guests and they like pepper, if I was doing it for guests, then the guests could um. No, this one. The guests could have other pepper when the, when the food is finished. You understand? When I finish cooking. Right, so I'm gonna cut up this. Right, I don't need this video to this too long, so I'm gonna cut the video and then I'll go back to I'll come back to show you. Yes, here I'm gonna put my dumpling in the pot now. Right in the pot, the pot is bubbling. Let me show you guys. So I'm gonna make some neat neat dumpling in a yeah, not too big. When everything finished, I'll share out some. Not everything I'll show you guys. I'll share a plate for you. I'll share a plate. Share an experience I'm going to share with you. Yes, so. I enjoy making um, dumpling. Yeah, I like doing it. If I do it so many years, it must become a part of me, so I can shut my eye and make them. Sometimes I like, um, when I'm doing it, I want to be, um, not perfect, but wanted them to make, um, and looking proper. You know, like, not perfect, but properly. Sometimes I can be like that, depends on the mood. Yes. This one appears to be much bigger than the ones that have gone in already. I can eat three depending if I'm well peckish, well hungry. If I never have anything in my system in the, from, in the morning, then I can eat at least three. But if I'm, I have something before, I couldn't have three. <laughs> I have to have two. Maybe I can eat and, and, and go back and eat again. Listen, sometimes when we get it get it like this and this one going to be so big, we'll just take off a piece and just do like this and just put it in. Yeah. Maybe that one is for the angel. <laughs> yes, yeah, so... My dumpling is in the pot. Right. And I'm gonna just stir with a spoon. Yeah, because I don't want them to stick. They can get stick other. They can stick at the arm, um, the bottom. So there you go i've washed my irish and i'm putting it in yes so my irish is in i don't need a lot of irish potato and also
I will not put the planting in as yet. I'm gonna wait for. I will not cover the pot entirely because I hate when it boil over and mess the stove. I don't work on a messy stove. I can't cook on a messy stove. I can't cook on a messy stove, and so um, right. Once the stove is um is messy, you will find me just start um cleaning it. Yes, once the stove, anything spill on the stove, I'm gonna wipe it. I can't do messy stove. I don't practice that one. Right, I'm trying to. I don't want to move this thing, but I need to move it up further there just to ensure that it's. Um, oh my god, sorry, may have to stop the video and come back. I don't want to move it the position that it's in. I'm just preparing up to do my um my color loo. Maybe I'm gonna come right here to cut up all of these so I'm gonna just use my small the smallest one to to do all the cutting of my So I've washed all my seasoning. Ooh, this one is not good. Yes, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So I've washed my um color loo. I've washed it into um with warm water and now I'm just pouring it. Woo! I'm just pouring it into the pot and we're getting right into the finished bit. And we're just gonna stir this in. Yeah, we're just gonna stir this in with the cabbage and everything. Yeah, so we stir it in. Right. Here we go. Yes. Stir it in. Turn up this. Here. Right. So this is what it looks like. The cabbage and um, the color loop. Yes. So it is breakfast and it is the little big for the Friday, right? So right in the same kitchen, Diamond's kitchen, right? Yeah, Diamond way real talk and more. Yes. So stay tuned when I share and return. Yeah. One love. Shoot. The finished product, mud. Yeah, the fin the finished product. It's not normal. Yeah, that's the finished product of the breakfast and the beaker. Yeah, Friday beaker. Yeah, that's.
just what's happening right same place here listen it's not nothing normal this is the finished one me a tell us it have more than a buzz a taste if you come taste it right same place in the diamond script mm -hmm. yeah catch you later bye hope you enjoy